In this video, I want to prove that zero is the unique additive identity for the real numbers, and that if A is a real number, its additive inverse is unique. In order to do this, we're going to basically be doing proofs that work in any field, but um, it helps to kind of make things a little bit concrete sometimes by grounding stuff in a system that we're familiar with, which in our case is the real numbers, since this is a course in real analysis. So our first goal is to show that zero is the unique additive identity inside of R. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to let B inside R be any old additive identity. So B is going to be an additive identity in R. And we want to show that 0 and B are exactly the same thing. So if we can show that our uh, just random additive identity happens to be equal to zero, then zero is the only one that we have. Now I want to make this very clear. So I want to think about exactly what I know and why I know it. The first thing is, is I know that zero plus a is equal to a plus zero, and those are going to be equal to a for all real numbers named a. We also know that 0 plus b is equal to b plus 0, and those are both going to be b, and I know that because b is a real number. And finally, I know that there does exist a minus a such that minus a plus a is equal to a plus minus a, and those two things are both equal to 0. And these facts are all known from the axioms of R. These are the field axioms that we are using. Now, we have one more hypothesis. We have this hypothesis right here. And that hypothesis tells me a couple more things. It tells me that B plus A is equal to a plus b, and because b is an additive identity, when you add it to anything, you get the anything back. So this is by our hypothesis that I'm going to be starring. Now when I start to look at facts that I know, something immediately dawns on me. I know that I have that name for A, and I know that I have this name for A. And as a consequence, I can write an equation. We know that 0 plus A is equal to A, and A is equal to uh, B plus A. So that lets me get plus A is equal to B plus A. And now I'm going to add minus a to the back side of both, term, both sides of this equation. So in other words, I've got a plus, rather 0 plus a plus minus a is equal to b plus a plus minus a. And I'm going to put parentheses around those two terms. I can do that because of the associative law. So what I'm now looking at is 0 plus 0 is equal to b plus 0, but 0 plus anything is equal to the anything, so we wind up having 0 is equal to b, and we are done. Uh, it's worth noting that the proof that 1 is unique works in the same way. So now what I want to do is I want to turn my attention to proving that additive inverses are unique. So given A inside the reals, I want to show that minus A is unique. Now again, what I'm going to do is think about what if there happens to be another additive inverse. In other words, I'm going to let B be an additive inverse 
additive inverse for the element A. So what do I know now? Well, let's see. I know that A plus minus A is equal to minus A plus A, and they're both equal to zero. And I also know that's by axiom. And I know that A plus, oops, I don't like that color, so let's change color. I know that A plus B is equal to B plus A, and because B is another additive inverse, these are also equal to zero, and that is by the hypothesis that we have. So what do I know? I know that a plus minus a is the same thing as a plus b. And I'm now going to add minus a on the front side of both equations. So we have minus a plus a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a plus b. And again, we have the associative law, so we can put it in parentheses where we want them. And when we do, we have 0 plus minus a is equal to 0 plus b, but that tells us minus a and b are exactly the same element. It is worth noting that the proof that if a is not 0, then 1 over a is unique works the same way.